before talking about our dreams and expectations, we would like to go back to the reasons why the European Union was established and what their dreams and visions were. So, the first step was the agreement of six nations for the production of steel and coal. They felt that working together, it would help avoid any more wars between the countries. In 1957, six nations met in Rome to sign some important treaties. France, Germany, Italy, Holland, Belgium and Luxembourg. It was after the Second World War. The waste of lives and the horrors of the war had convinced this group of nations that only united they could hope in a continent of peace, solidarity, tolerance and economic prosperity. The European Economic Community was a setup. People demanded peace, solidarity and tolerance and economic prosperity. And Europe had to be a place where human rights were respected diversity celebrated and social justice reinforced. It was easier for people not only to buy and sell goods within these six countries, but also to work and travel. Soon, other countries wanted to join the European Economic Community, so the membership started to grow. In 1993, with the Maastricht Treaty, the European Union was formed with more cooperation between governments, especially for justice and defense. In 2002, a common currency was introduced. The Euro and 12 countries accepted it. When membership still continues to grow, and now there are 28 countries, there is still debate in many countries about the advantages and disadvantages of working together in this way. Some countries are abandoning the, and others are applying. The question is, have the dreams of the founders of the European Union come true? The plan worked because we have had 17 years of peace. The European countries are so interconnected that the world is impractical and unthinkable. We have a lot of individual freedom. We can travel in Europe freely. We have cheap telecommunication, very good health standards. Together, the EU countries work in many scientific fields to improve our life. The EU is still shaken by the refugee crisis of 2015. Some countries have accepted far greater numbers of asylum seekers than others, and uh, the border countries are overwhelmed and feel alone. The public uh, opinion is split, and racism and discrimination are a serious problem because it prevents integration. So this is a big challenge, to find a balance between helping refugees, turning illegal immigrants away, and successfully integrating the ones who stay. Is the EU succeeding in its mission? where the state supports families in need and where everything is possible for everyone. No one is left behind because everyone has the right to have a house, a family, a job and live in peace. The Europe, the country, the city I dream is quiet and safe. A place where I can work at night with my friends, travel alone and feel free. But every place in the world should be safe. We must not turn the other way if human rights are ignored, but be ready to speak up against injustice. Europe should care also about countries where there are wars. The Europe of my dreams is a Europe where environment is respected and plastic free. No pollution and sustainable economy, no exploitation of nature, but respect for it and its gifts. Clean air, water and urban spaces are our rights. I want a Europe where people help each other unconditionally, where borders don't exist and people in it can feel at home. It doesn't matter where they are from, what their religion or gender is. We are determined. We absolutely will not support politicians whose aim is just to make profits because young minds have the power to change history. We are against populism and media misinformation. We are in favor of those who are ready to include us in policy making. We want to be heard. My dream is to help children in need for a better future. My dream is a Europe where it is easier and easier to study abroad. My dream is to become an important person in the world so that I can change many things like uh, maybe people prejudice. For me, a better Europe is an Europe where citizens are proud to call themselves uh, Europeans. 
My dream is to uh, study English and Chinese and to the European University uh, to work from an international company. We are such stuff as dreams are made of.